steroids are done. Scientists just gave monkeys a drug that made them gain 30 times the amount of muscle they would have lost while also burning twice the amount of fat, over twice in fact, during a calorie deficit. And they just moved on to human trials. So this really begs the question, could this be the future of muscle growth? Myostatin is a protein within everyone's body that regulates protein synthesis and muscle growth. It effectively acts as a break to how much muscle you can grow at a given time. Usually when people are exercising for a very long time, they end up hitting this natty ceiling or like natural ceiling to how much muscle they can really build. And this is because of their myostatin levels. Myostatin deficiencies lead to greater muscle mass. And these deficiencies are the result of a genetic of the MSTN gene, a mutation that is also known as growth differentiation factor 8, GDF8. <laughs> it's also known as the Hercules gene. Former world's strongest man, Eddie Hall, has actually publicly stated that he has this genetic variant. His deficiency in myostatin allows him to build more muscle than would be usually naturally possible. So blocking myostatin leads to more muscle. If you have this genetic, it's essentially like steroids as in building all the muscle, like a lot of muscle without actually having the hormonal side effects like testicular shrinkage or infertility that steroids actually end up producing. These new drugs are called trevogramab and also gretismab. Trevogramab acts as a myostatin blocker and gretismab acts as an active and A antagonist, active and A and also myostatin do essentially the same things within the body. They regulate muscle growth in that way. So the Regeneron Corporation conducted a study with four groups of monkeys, all in the same calorie deficits, eating the same macros and same nutrients. The first group of monkeys, they lost 400 grams of fat and also 15 grams of muscle. And remember, these are small monkeys. So these changes are actually very substantially like important. The second group of monkeys was given Ozempic, which is a fat loss drug, and they lost 700 grams of fat and also 40 grams of actual muscle. The third group of monkeys was given Trevogramab and also Semeglutide, which is like Ozempic. And <laughs> they had only lost the 15 grams of muscle, but they had lost double the amount of fat. But this is not even as, as incredible as the next one. Group four was given semaglutide, so ozempic, and trevogramab, and also gretismab. And what the scientists observed is, uh, observed is actually incredible. They lost 1,400 grams of fat. That is double the amount of the monkeys on ozempic. And they gained 450 grams of muscle, 30 times the, the amount of muscle that they lost in the normal monkey. That is incredible. Just to put this in perspective, if two identical human twins had observed the same results, the first normal one would lose about 10 pounds of fat, pretty honorable, pretty great, and about losing just one pound of muscle. The second twin, given the drugs, would have lost 35 pounds of fat and gained about 11 pounds of muscle. And these drugs will be dose dependent, which is incredibly interesting. Now, I also don't want this to be a kind of like, oh my God, this is going to be the answer. Everyone's going to be like genetically modified compound V super soldiers. No, no, no. This is just emerging science that I find incredibly interesting. And of course, these will likely have side effects. They will have side effects. The question is, what kind of side effects will they have? Now, steroids injecting like testosterone and, and those kinds of compounds, they they downregulate the and, and they negatively affect the testosterone negative feedback cycle. And both testosterone and spermatogenesis are heavily intertwined. So hormonal addition of exogenous amounts of testosterone would result in your testicles shrinking, you being infertile, you probably having crazy mood swings and being extremely aggressive towards others like roid rage and just having a bunch of acne on your skin, just a lot of things. And for female bodybuilders, that's also pretty tough because their vocal, their vocal cords end up getting smaller. What happened with my voice? This question, you know, it will never disappear. These side effects would be gone with these new drugs, these new myostatin blockers. The only kinds of side effects I could currently think of 
would be that your joints would not actually be able to, like your joints and your ligaments, your tendons would not be able to support the weight that you would be able to actually, that your muscles can handle. So that's another thing that a lot of people disregard when they talk about steroids. A lot of people who take steroids, they get terrible aches in their bones, like their tendons, their joints, because their their structural components of their body have not been able to handle the actual load that their muscles can. And this is something that is unavoidable and your body needs time to adapt to these, these new pressures, environmental pressures. However, this, this new kind of technology is incredible also because it can think about this. It can increase life expectancy using rationality. You can probably extend your quality of life as well as the duration of your life about 15 to 20 years. Think about the amount of old people that fall over because they don't have the strength to be able to to keep themselves up or that end up getting hurt because their muscles don't support their bone structure. Think about the amount of people that don't have the muscle as they get older and are stuck in their bed and the kind of life quality that they have just like that. Not only mental health will go straight through like amazing through the roof for older people their life quality will be so much better because they will have the strength to be able to go up and down the stairs they will also be able to live longer and that's just it's just wonderful and with more competition with these industries there will be also less side effects and i just think this is wonderful now personally i would like to stay natural because i just like the idea of naturally seeing what your body is capable of However, if I were to use these drugs, I'd likely use them when I'm older for my life quality so I can preserve the muscle mass I've gained while I was young. And this also seems like a good implication for the future of individuals. I need to imagine a world in the future where everybody just looks like a superhuman, like a superhero. Man, people are really going to have to start uh, working on the personalities on that point. <laughs> if you'd like to optimize your muscle growth and aesthetics naturally, check the first link in the description below. Otherwise, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one, bro.